think about the uh, the movement in Toronto and the and the feeling here so far? Oh, it's been amazing. Um, it just this sense of camaraderie and community has uh, sprung up out of nowhere. And there's people here from like very 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 experienced activists, people who are just pissed off and have never experienced anything this, like this in their lives. And it's been a very fluid experience. Um, it's been an incredible bonding experience between everyone. And we've just grown as a community and every single day new things are happening and we're making so many mistakes and that's how we're learning. We're uh, coming together in um, just you know a way of love. So no matter what happens, no matter what mistakes people make, um, everyone's willing to, you know, work past those and figure out how those why those mistakes were made and what we can do in the future to stop them which is it's just been a really amazing experience so you'd probably say that the dialogue is a is a really important factor in this then eh? dialogue's like the single most important factor um, because without dialogue like you know we don't know where anyone's at we don't know what people are thinking and I mean dialogue from general assembly to to dialogue sitting in your tents at night just being like how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? Okay, so you feel like this about X situ situation X. So what things can we do to you know fix that? And then you know, walk to random people like we were doing this last night. Like we had this idea, so we like turned around to this this group this group of folks and we're just like, hey, what do you feel about this idea? And then you know that conversation just budded into a three-hour conversation with these two random people. And I mean, um, we came to this awesome this awesome. Right so, uh, you think this is going to go on for a while? It's going to spread even more, or what? Um, I think it's. I think it's going to spread. Um, the only problem here is what happens when it gets cold. That's the. That's the only thing that we're all working on. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. That's okay. Yeah. So I mean, I think it's the only thing that's going to stop it will be the weather. Because I mean, living outdoors. Here, uh, it can kill you in the winter if you're not careful. So I mean, that's the only problem. Right on. it's mother, well, nature, mo mo mother nature's fierce.